Hi, my name's Baru. I'm the creator of um, car readings. Um, sorry, I just want to say Big Brother then. I don't know why. But yeah, um, I was watching Big Brother. I put myself on Facebook for um, this. I put myself in the free of the free of one. Um, and there's heaps more on that. This is for us, right? If you want to know, um, there are other ones out there. Like I said, there's like 64 countries connected to Big Brother. Um, so it's huge, yeah. So, and I pop, and if knowing, knowing them, they will have their own website too, or Facebook related to it too. So, it's interesting I'm watching it, and it's really interesting. Two things come out of it. And you can get this one on Channel 7, um, their um, internet, Facebook, whatever you want to call it. And they're introducing the housemates. Um, if you know Big Brother itself, it's, they introduce these housemates on the night they start the show. Like today, this year, 2020, we do do it on the night they start the show. So it's weird in itself. Um, secondly, the show the whole, well here in Australia, the whole Australia stuff like the outback, the city, things like that. And I find that really interesting. The other thing I found, I mean I could I could miss this bit, but they're not showing beds. <laughs> like that's interesting in itself. Like um one of the big things with Big Brother for Allies they like to watch the app late night shows. Um, if you're an adult, you'll know why. But yeah, they like to watch the app late night shows. And I thought that's quite interesting in itself. There's no beds. Secondly, um, like I said, I, I really think the COVID 19 is connected to Big Brother. Um, second, for reasons that like, we do have cameras out there. Um, we didn't have an app now on your phone that you can put on your phone so that um, can track down how you can get to a place. Like normally you have a map, yeah? Well now you can get pictures and it can guide you straight to where you want to go. And it's, it, it is a camera that can, with your phone somehow, I don't know how it happens, but you get the phone and you can it can access you to the place instead of having the, the map to have your actual pictures so if you're in like if i'm here and i want to go to sasta shops it, it will show me in the camera way to get to the shop and i thought that's interesting so i hope they say like big brother, big brother says and it is a show so that's why i'm saying the big brother big brother said you can't hide in the way, you can't do anything less I know. Yeah, so that's interesting. The other thing on top of that is Big Brother said, it's my game, it's my rules. Now that's a typical thing for Big Brother to say. But what have we been doing in the last, I don't know, five months with the COVID-19? Yeah, so I thought that's quite weird. So, Granted, I still think it's wrong, and that's why it's going to lead into certain things later on. Now, the other thing I want to pass on to you, um, and I'm trying to remember this. I, I, all the time I forget this, so I want to put this out there now, <laughs> so I don't forget it again. About three months ago, I think it was, about that three or two months ago, here in Bendigo, they, they had a crew of people coming in, filming a movie. Um, it's in um, Roseberry Park, I can't say the name, Raspberry Park, something like it. It's the major park in Benigo, anyway, um, for two or three days. I remember it very clearly because the first day that they came, um, it was pouring down rain and it was hard to get to A to B. And I thought, mm, I wonder they're going to add an extra day for it. That's how I remember it off my heart. And it was on the wind news. I don't know if it was in anywhere else in Australia, but it was on the wind news, yeah. Um, I keep wondering, what's that pile of brick brother? Because the other thing I've pick, been picking up on, I would say something. 
and it kind of would backfire on me like um, the day I was gonna go to Adelaide um, two days beforehand I was thinking mm, I should check about going to Adelaide because I thought it's another state who knows who knows what's gonna happen right so I thought I'd go out the first day I said we don't know um, if the bus is running this is um, um, so, um, Seller link buses, and um, that's all right. The second day I go down, I ask, and there's a council on the buses you can go across the border to get to Adelaide. So it kind of backfired on me, and other stuff like um, just simple things like um, I don't know, um, I can't even think of it. Like, I remember looking at a bus before we had the yellow light. Um, I don't know, stickers, whatever you want to call it, and you couldn't sit at the front of the bus and there's a rope across it that you can't go past this rope. And before that happened, I was remember thinking to myself, this is the behind bin. That's not 1.5 metres, I thought to myself. Now, I must have said it out loud because the following day, you always, you weren't allowed to sit there. So it sounds quite like Big Brother, doesn't it? Like, um, Distances, you can't talk to each other, let's cut that back on food, that kind of stuff. So, I thought I want to share that with you in the movie. Now, the other thing in Ben the Girl for, like I said, I do think this is a con, a con with um, COVID 19. I do think it's a media thing. So, yeah, this is why I'm putting this bit into it. Um, about a month ago, I would say, maybe a bit longer, not much longer, there was a homeless guy with a lady. Now, that's nothing unusual. Every, every city, every town has a homeless group of people. Now, that's not unusual. But since I've been here in Benigo, there's certain people you remember seeing, all right? This guy I have never, never seen him before. Um, and in his close sense, they're a bit nicer than a homeless guy. Like, when you meet people homeless, there's something about them that you you know, you know, you know they're actually homeless, yeah? So that's okay. Um, the, I think it's the following day I saw him out in the streets. He just, and we all know about the COVID-19 by this time. And he just walks up to me, I know you. And at this stage, like I said, I did. I don't believe in the COVID-19 thing. So, because I know, I knew he was going to come up to me and do something. So I just put my hands out for the sh handshake, right? But he comes along and gives me a huge hug. And I thought, that's weird in itself. At first I thought, maybe just because... For me, it was because he had no idea who I was. I could have been a murderer. Um, I could have been someone who robs people. He had no idea who I was. I, I'm, I'm a complete stranger to him. For him to come up to hug me, it was weird. But today I thought about it too. He was only out in the street for two days. And that's it. And that's another thing with homeless people. Since this COVID-19 has been going on, all the homeless people are out in the streets. I'm sorry, but if you're homeless, you have no money. Where, where, as a homeless person, where would you go? It's, that's weird. That, that, that's weird in itself. So I thought I'd share that with you. So I actually think this homeless man, because I only met him about two times, maybe three. I want to be related to Big Brother. And the only reason I'm saying that, because like I said, I only met him three times, and the second time he just gave me a hug. He had no idea who I was. And at the hospital, when I used to be the cleaner at the hospital, at Benico Hospital as a cleaner, one of the guys took a photo of me. Now, that's not privacy. If you want to know this is privacy, that's not privacy. Privacy is where I say, this is what's wrong with him. This is not privacy. He took a photo of me. Yeah, that's unusual in itself. And like I said, um, I know people around me 
are connected to the media. They might not be active, but they are connected to the media. So I thought I'd share that with you. The other thing is, well, two things I was watching, and this is why I get annoyed. If it's any of it's not related to Big Brother, maybe another show, this is why it annoys me. And it really home pinned it today. I was watching the start of Medium. If you want to know what it's about, it's about a psychic lady called Alison Devell. Alison Devell is a real person. So if you Google Alison Devell, you'll get a picture of a lady with, I think these days she's got blonde hair. Some of them she got red hair. But she's actually a medium. Um, and in this episode, she dreams that she's going to die. And later on in the episode, she sees the deaf man. Now, the thing with Alison, with her dreams, it's kind of like me, she has dreams that come true. So if she dreams she's going to die, she probably will die in the show, yeah? Not in real life, in real life, Alison don't have dreams, yeah? Where in the show, Alison's dreams and that her dreams come true. Now, and she's freaking out about this dream and this deaf man, yeah? And it's kind of brought me back to COVID-19. And the reason it brought me back to COVID-19 is, think about it, um, you watch the news and you hear so many people die. Um, you see a boat ships, I think it was four up or, or together. Uh, and a lot of people die, a lot of people have COVID-19. Then you go into the shops and you see people rushing to get stuff. Um, you see people go to the cameras, see them get rushed to get stuff, yeah. Um, I'm going to take my child out of the school, I'm worried that he or she is going to get COVID-19. It kind of, is that, it, it's like that, it's, you see it, so you react to it. And this is what I'm saying, um, this is what I'm kind of blaming the media. I don't care if it's related to Big Brother or not, you're freaking people out um, to a point. It's, I was thinking about 2012 story, and um, this whole story at 2012 story is, it was gonna be the end of the world. I don't know, remember, remember the whole story, I don't even remember the story behind it. I've been told it was going to be the end of the world and we're all going to die. That's all I knew, <laughs> kind of thing. And that's where we are now. It's 2020 and we didn't die. Now, it's, and I was thinking about that with this. And I think the reason 2012 didn't have a big reaction was that there wasn't anyone putting things into actions like there was no people going out buying toilet paper so no one would follow them they didn't see things on the news like um an old lady who's in who's 87 who's passed we didn't see that um 16 people in a nursing home who died um we didn't see any of that um there were seen the people who um died on a boat or catch COVID-19. We didn't see that. We're now we're seeing it and I think that's why people are following it. I think that's why people are actually following this and thinking, what in the hell is going on? Um, it's the end of the world. I need this, I need this, I need this. And I think that's why it's happening because people are following people. Um, yes, so I thought I'd share that with you. And that leads into fear factor. This is a fear factor. Now, I remember watching this years and years ago. As you all know, if you don't know, I'll tell you now. I love Robert Williams. He's my favourite actor. He has died. He did commit suicide from depression, yeah? But there's an episode in More Community with Robert Williams in it. Well, it has to be Robert Williams. So he, he was the main actor, right? And it was about him... Mork being in someone comes to his house, well, Mindy's house, and wants to get people onto insurance. There, yeah? so he goes to her, he goes to Mork and say, Have you got insurance? Um, 90, I'm, I'm just gonna write these percentages up, they're not direct. 99% of people who who 
dye dyes in their homes um, um, stuff like that um, you can dye in your car um, no, there's a bit, you can you can dye the swimming kind of stuff he's saying all this to Mark so he's Mark freaking out all this and that and saying I want insurance kind of stuff and um, then Mindy comes into it and say uh, he's just doing it to get your money yeah he's just doing it to get your money um, and it's in the point where she goes and how much this insurance is that he tells her then he goes mean Mark has no money in it at all so he grabs the paper this guy grabs the paper and goes bye and walks out so he just wanted his money yeah but the thing with Mark in this show in Mark Mindy he does think and it reminds me of this um he um he goes to Mindy I don't want to leave the house so I'm worried I'm going to die and she goes well, 99% of the time, it happens at home. So he's freaking out a bit more. So then she goes, and then he goes to a, I don't want to go to the cafe, I'm worried about dying here. And then she goes something along the line, be careful walking across the road, you know, kind of thing. You might die from that. I'm just saying that in that sense. So she's giving him scenarios, I mean, to a point where he comes along, Bought this big glass. I'm gonna call it a big glass house. It's kind of, I call it the bubble boy, and you'll get it in a minute. It's this big glass house with no windows, no doors, right? And he's put himself in there and think he will be safe. So he can't leave the house, he can't go to the toilet, he's only got one tin or something and a chair, and that's him in this house, in this glass bubble thing yeah and to a point he just stays there forever and ever for for, for how long and Mindy's can discern about it because he's he's freaking out he's gonna die and he doesn't want to die and all that and then she goes and like, oh, I make a big thing and pretending he was dead and kind of makes that kind of uh what do you call him when you once you someone dies and you have a kind of a, a party awakening it has a kind of awakening and he's here and all of it to the point he bursts out out of this class and goes I want to leave again I want to live again now that I want some of COVID-19 not in the sense of we're all gonna buy a, a big bubble or whatever but saying stuff like 18 people died in the nursing home the amount of people died on on the boat um Cats COVID nineteen. If you go to China, you're gonna catch COVID nineteen. Uh, this is how you catch COVID nineteen, and you're freaking people out. Now, to a point, they are going to the shop, buying whatever they need. Um, don't need to get enough um, medication for the last time over six months, and that's the thing with um, the news. This is uh, oh, this might last for six months. So yeah, that's why I thought I'd share that one with you because it does, when I watch this with Mark and Mindy and it does remind me of people where you get phone calls from people in insurance and say, have you got insurance? Who are you with? Um, you know, do you have a life insurance stuff? Now to me, this in itself, life insurance is not worth it. I have to admit, um, I just think when you die, that's it. I, I think it'd be nice to have money there for someone to bury me. But that's it. You know, I, I don't think it's worth it. And in insurance, that's not for insurance for three years of someone who passed. But genuine insurance, it's really hard to get. Uh, once you get it, you know, you pay for it weekly or monthly, whatever you do. It's really hard to get out of the way. So I think it's a bit of a phony thing out of the way. Um, Things I hear about, especially related to your flood and some fixed fires, it's really hard to get. So that's it. That's pretty much what I want to share with you. I like I said, I, everything. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to share with you, I just had it on my paper. In it together, um, and that kind of stuff. The ads and all that. All ads, most ads related to the COVID nineteen. In a sense of um, like you can go online and do face to face 
like this kind of thing with someone you need. It's a simple effect, like this thing with fit, some design. Um, you can do it face to face like this or on the phone, whatever. This book online, what time you want, and just connect at that time. But all these, and that's good. Don't let me one. That bit's good, yeah. But the other bit is all these ads, this matter if it's that kind of thing, or shop or insurance or whatever they all got the same color they could have i call it aqua but i don't think it's aqua it's kind of like that ice cream green color in between two colors they got that same color and i find that really interesting all the COVID 19 stuff has the same color and it leads into big brother again i wonder if big brother is going to have that kind of color when it starts um and i'm wondering with big brother these people that he's introducing i'm saying him because it is a show and i mean you watch the shows or the mail talk so i'm gonna say him right um he's introducing these people who actually not connected to big brother they're just using it or i have they been around that we don't know like there's a guy, um, I think he was in LLA, he's not the football player, the other guy, and that was that it was last week once. Um I was watching him and I'm thinking, You look quite familiar. But again, you no, know, Big Brother has people from outside coming in. So it could be just that. But I thought that's interesting. It? So so I'm wondering if they did doing like i said a state or a suburb or a town kind of thing not a um a house like a big brother house where you have 10 to 16 people in this house and you bury each person at um i wonder when it's a bit more than that i wonder if it's a, a suburb or a town something like that more than a house itself or in a, a state a probably not a state because states are hard to boat because we all want the same thing but i wonder if it's like a suburb or a town kind of thing um, with big brother like i said hey big brother you might have the rules but it's hard for someone like me where I can read between the lines, I am psychic. Um, another thing with this with me, I have Big Brother in my head, but I still have Jack and NCIS in my head. So it's who I am. So Big Brother, yes, you might have the rules and we might have to follow it. But I think I got your secret. <laughs> So, and I'm not sorry for it, like I said, um, if you turn around and abuse your power as the media, I'm not sorry for it. Um, sorry, but I'm not sorry for it. Like, um, you have put people in hardship, as the media will say, the news will say, you have put people in hardship. Um, some people believe, believe in everything they hear. Yes, I'm calling you Big Brother, but I know you're just a media person behind a camera film and stuff. Oh, well, I know your name could be Jeffrey or George or I know. And it really requires me, I mean, you, if you watch this, I did get your name right. I mean, that's who I am. So, yes, Big Brother, if you're watching this, and if I got it right, I have to say... I'm not sorry. <laughs> you have to cut the wheels. Um, I have been following them. Trust me, I have been following because, like I said, I know people out there are freaking out. And that's the only reason I've been doing it because I know people are freaking out. Um, I haven't overloaded with your food. I did with sardines. <laughs> that's a really funny story because I thought I only had two sardine packs. I went how long and bought two more and now I got sick eight. I had eight. So I haven't overloaded all that chocolate because it was my birthday and Easter. That's the only thing I overloaded. But yes, I have been following your wheels if you if this is the lady to pick brother and doing everything that you said. 
and you might have a troll out of it, but I'll probably burst your bubbles. So, and I'm not sorry for it, because like I said, you just harm people in it. Um, maybe not many, but there are people out there that are freaking out. Um, I know, I know she says she's freaked out from it, and um, one of my jobs, um, but I know she's not freaked out. I know she knows what she lives on, and if you're watching it, you know who I mean, so. And I won't say names, because again, it's at this stage that things are calm now, and I think if this is Big Brother, I think you kind of understand it a bit more that there's certain things that you should have done, yeah. So um, that's it for today. Um, but this is probably the last one I'm going to do and go back into our stuff. Like I do want to do a bit more on my psychic stuff. So um, this is my last one. Um, I feel... I know why media is going to use this. I feel like media is going to use this whole COVID 19 with my stuff. Um, I don't know if they're going to use me as it, because yes, you can see I'm not a dress up person. I am who I am. But they might use it in the sense of talking about it. And I'm okay with that. So if you are a big brother and you want to use it, go for it. Um, I don't care. Um, I put it on YouTube, I put it on Facebook and Instagram so what you put out there is be the same so you probably um, analyze it more and anything but that's that's it um and hope this is useful for everyone and look um if you're one of these people find it really hard with, with this whole COVID-19 if I'm worried about the COVID, um, big brother or a media thing there are things that you can do. Sorry to the media, but I think it's important that you learn your lesson. So, but if you're not part of the media and you feel like you've been abused, yes, there are things out there. Um, I will actually go and talk to legal aid about it and see what you can do about it. Yeah, because it is a big thing. When you people take things away from you, for no reason, I think it's important that you know what you did wrong, yeah? Um, like I said, there's certain things you could have done with no problems, yeah? Like, um, no, um, I don't know, maybe make the traffic lights red and green instead of red, yellow and green, red, I'm sorry, but that kind of stuff, or... Oh, Take away the coat, because coat's not important, but things like flour, water, milk, and all that are important. So, yes, if you're an outsider watching this and thinking, what in the heck can I do? I would talk to legal aid or someone who knows things, um, like human rights stuff, because this is, this is into the human rights stuff. If you looked into Disability Act, or um, Age Act, or like a Older People Act, um, Selenic Act, all of that, it's there. So if you feel like you've been abused, there are things that you can do. Um, yeah, so see you later. And this is the last one I'm hoping for the COVID-19. Bye.